Hey everyone, and welcome to your update on the 6th of November 2023. So, um, starting off with the five day forecast from the UKV. Yesterday, we saw a rush of showers over Ireland, um, some downpours in there as well. Um, they eased off in the evening, but the showers did continue overnight on the western and northern coasts. And we saw a more general area of showers move into effect the northwest of um, Ireland as well, this area here. Also, we may have seen a band of showers come in into more southern areas of the west of Ireland. That was seen in the earlier run from yesterday. Um, but on this run, it didn't come off. Um, tomorrow then, so, or should I say today? Today is a day of sun and showers. Again, in the afternoon, obviously, um, initially showers will be most frequent and heaviest on the west coast. And um, they will penetrate inland actually in the afternoon. Some showers getting towards the southeast in the afternoon. So it's just like today, showers will get inland. Into the evening then, showers ease off in the Midlands, south and east. However, they will continue in the west and north on this northwest of the airflow. Then we move into Tuesday. Showers keep moving in to the northwest, pushing inland at times. Into Tuesday, we see a uh, dry day. The showers do form due to convection in the Midlands in the afternoon before we see high clouds moving in in the evening and that is preceding an area of rain coming in from the west. Um, on the earlier run, we had a school line on this area here. There's one here, however, it's weakened a lot. However, still quite a wet night on Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning sees the rain quickly clearing eastwards, and Wednesday sees sunshine and blustery showers. Again, blustery showers extending wildly over the country. Into Wednesday night, we, we still see showers pushing in on the strong and blustery westerly to southwest of the airflow. And into Thursday, again, we see widespread showers mixed with sunshine. Some showers heavy with possible thunder and hail. Then we see a more general area of showers on Thursday night coming from the west. And this heralds a change to northerly winds we see a little low come through there, and uh, behind the low, winds veer northerly. And that means Friday is a dry day, however, the north coast will still be peppered by the showers. However, elsewhere, away from Ulster, it should be a nice day with sunshine. However, it will be colder on Friday, with possibly a frosty night on Friday nights. Now, moving on to the NAO index observed and GEFS forecasters. So with the NAO, we're currently um, going towards neutral as we've established over the past few days. Um, it will hit neutral on about, I say it's about Wednesday or Thursday time. It will drop back a bit below neutral before rising to positive levels after the 15th of November. So a slight shift on yesterday's, or should I say on Saturday's, so you see, I'm recording on Sunday evening here, so it's sort of like hard for me to um, remember that it's Monday when you're watching this. Um, anyway, so we, so it is a change on Saturday's run where we had more agreement for a positive NAO, but the trend is still there for a neutral one. Um, the NAO, if you don't know, measures pressure between Iceland and the Azores. If we've low over Iceland and a strong high over the Azores and a strong westerly or southwesterly flow over the Atlantic, a zonal flow, then the NAO is positive. If we have blocking over Iceland and Greenland and the low pressure sh shifted southwards with the jet stream, like we've had quite recently actually, then we have a negative NAO. Then this is the uh, GFS twelve says, <coughs> give me guys. Okay, so today was showery in those northwesterly winds. Um, tomorrow we'll see more showers on that on that northwesterly flow. Then into Tuesday we see a transient ridge of high 
moving in from the west, but still a few showers could linger. Now we see that active front moving in on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, as we've quite well established over the past few days. Um, then into Wednesday, we see a showery westerly winds, and then a low comes in from the north um, on Thursday. That brings some very strong winds over Ireland, especially in the west, exposed to those westerly winds. If that comes off, that needs an eye on it. Uh, more showers on that one, blustery showers at that. Um, behind the low, the winds go northerly on f for Friday, bringing a colder day. Then the transient ridge moves in on Saturday morning. That brings possibly a frosty night. And then that next system moves in from the west. The uh, systems, the fronts do struggle a bit, but they do end up moving in for Sunday, renewing that westy flow. And the jet stream comes pretty much right over us, or just to our south. And we see westerly winds off the Atlantic, with low to the north, high, well to the south. Um, and we keep it westerly and wet. But on the 16th, on the 16th of November, the Azores High sends a ridge northwards. That is cold traditionally, possibly with a frosty night. But behind that ridge, we see a very mild southwesterly airflow. But that doesn't last long. A cold front comes eastwards. Uh, that was active and clears it through. Before we see th that low to the north come back again. Um, constant showers at that point, quite windy as well, with the possibly gales on the west coast. Um, then the low just fills over Scotland, winds veer more northwesterly into the 20th of November. We're, we're very, very long way out there. And then the Azores High combined with the ice and low. Look at that perfectly. That's very positive. That's classically a positive NAO. The low is up here over us in Greenland, high towards the Azores, flat zonal westerly winds off the Atlantic. Classically zonal. Um, very, very zonal with that one. A flat westerly wind, as flat as a pancake. Um, so basically, it keeps raining. Um, this is the ECMWF. Guess it's to 10 days ahead. Don't want the ads. Um, so let's see what this shows. Again, similar story. We start off today with that low to the northeast, the Azores side weakened and west of the Azores, with that showery and cool westerly or northwesterly winds. Then that low sits over Scotland and fills gradually, and um, we see showers on Monday, dry on Tuesday, and then that new low comes on Wednesday, quite deep as well. Initially, bring a system. And then blustery showers on Wednesday and Thursday. Does that low come and bring us stormy weather on Wednesday? Okay, so the strongest winds with this little system pass to our south on the ECM. That does look like quite a tight gradient there on the ice bars. So, so that does need watching actually. Could bring some damaging winds into the end of the week. Um, but thankfully on the ECM run at least, it is well away. Into Friday. We see a northerly wind behind the low. And then Saturday, again, we do see that transient ridge. So um, it doesn't last long. And that next system comes in. Again, we see a big front move in before that westerly flow comes back. Um, we see a nasty low forming here, um, just to our west on the... If it starts on a jet stream, then uh, whips itself up as it leaves the jet stream on its northern sides and really blows up there, possibly threatening stormy winds to the west and north. But that is one week away and therefore unreliable, just about. Um, moving off beyond that, the low sits over the Faroe Islands and Scotland, at high pressure well away to the south, jet stream to the south, and we see um, westerlies or northwesterlies with showers or rain at times. The UK Met Office run, here's the is looking like this. So again, um, tomorrow, tomorrow month, today, today Monday, showery day, with the low to the northeast, the highest to the southwest, pulling in that, pulling that wind from the northwest. Um, Tuesday, we start to see a drier day, briefly, before that next low comes in, bringing rain, followed by showers, blustery showers at that. It's this low here, 
that looks like it might come this way and bring this core of strong winds over here eastwards. Um, there's a chart missing here for some reason. Um, let's see what happens with that low. Um, yeah, so it's just right over us, but on this run, it isn't as intense. Um, could bring some quite windy weather to the southwest there for a time though. And beyond that, it was going northerly, as we've said several times already. Um, actually, that block does try and hold on over Iceland and the Northern Sea. Try to ease the wind in from the northeast. Up our temperatures, uh, not loading. Um, there is cold air lurking, but it doesn't succeed because immediately this deep low to our west wafts up this southwesterly flow. And plenty of rain, as you can see on that chart there. And we end up with the wet weather coming in from the west, flattening that high, pushing it away. So the deluge goes on. I think that any attempt at a ridge in, you know, over Greenland, Iceland, Scandinavia, unless it's really, really strong, will come to nothing because these lows are just too active to allow that sort of. Um, system to get going. This is the GEM run. So again, you know, there are some pretty good agreements between the models, thankfully, which is often something that, which often doesn't happen. We often have we often have different models saying different things, um, but the but the overall pattern, the overall trends, um, you know, the overall um, um, you know, we pretty much know what the weather would be like, in general, on every day of the week ahead, if you know what I mean. Judging by these runs we're seeing here, quite also quite consistently showing the same weather for each day. Um, this is the GEM, so again, the low will be exiting to our northeast tomorrow and Tuesday, but then, and then the low will come in from the west, active front, followed by more showers, and um, beyond that, we don't really see that low bring a spell of very strong winds on Friday, thankfully. The northern flow comes in after that. And a brief ridge Saturday morning, push aside by the next low, uh, wet this Saturday, showers on Sunday, I'd say. Um, actually, the GEM has blocking trying to form to our north and northeast over Scandinavia. Upper temperatures on the 13th, um, bringing in some quite chilly easterlies. But equally, deep low to our west, with a warm sector coming. What happens after that? I suspect that the low will win, and it does win. Uh, it barrels through, and the jet stream comes right through us. That low may blow up. Who knows? If it goes northwards, it will definitely blow up. Um, but yeah, but there is a high there. Well away, this low is too strong. Um, the, the icon run, looking at this. Here we go. So we see showery today, show weather today, and then Tuesday we start to see um, that drier day as we know. Cold front Wednesday morning, more showers, blustery showers, very heavy ones. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, um, then on Friday we see, thankfully, that low doesn't really blow up. Also, the winds are to our south. But we see some more organised rain moving through. Normally winds after that. Um, then the block does try and hold on on the uh, icon. But it doesn't really succeed. The systems do struggle. The autobars are elongating here. Um, so so far it's struggling against it. However, the block is too weak, really. And these loads are too strong. So in the end... It overrides any, any block and we go westerly. Um, but recently we have seen repeatedly blocking trying to get going over Iceland and the Nor and the Norwegian Sea. Um, we've seen we have seen repeats at that attempts, put it that way. Like it's even there now. We've got a very small high system over here trying to push in some colder air. Normally, that isn't there. Um, so it's quite interesting to see that. But the lowers in the west, to our west, are just too strong to allow it to, to do 